Hey guys, so I am officially back from vacation. So I appreciate your patience with me while I was gone. I wasn't posting as much. Um, we're going to do a just for fun one today. And then I have a whole long list of suggestions to get to. And as well as I totally surpassed my 30,000 subscribers mark. I didn't think I was going to get there until I got back from vacation. So I'm very sorry. We did not do a contest there. Um, the next, the next video or the next two videos will be a giveaway. What, you know, either the next one or the one after that. So we will get that giveaway done and it will be really fun. All right. So this is, um, color shift paint, green flash. And these are going to, we're going to use some funky colors today. This is blue, just regular blue. Uh, artist loft paint. Um, okay. I came back to a bit of a disaster in my studio because of the rains. Everything had flooded. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this is uh, like a bluey green that I made. And then just black. And these are uh, paints with Floetrol and a little bit of water. Okay, and this is the Color Shift Pink Flash. There's no silicone in here. And some white. A bit more black. This is a, I don't know if I said it already. Uh, this is a 12 by 12 canvas. By the way. A little bit more bluey green. Okay. I think we're good. And we are going to flip cut this. This is literally my first painting in like two weeks. It was very weird not being able to paint for so long. All right, we're gonna let this sit here. I like to let it sit for about a minute so we can get everything that's on the bottom to kind of come down. And then we'll go ahead and we'll pull it off. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Let's see if these colors work together. I wouldn't normally mix pink with these colors, <laughs> but I just thought it'd be a fun experiment. Why not? Sometimes using like completely crazy colors together looks awesome. And so far, it looks awesome. Can't really see the pink very much, but I know it's in there. All right. There are a lot of air bubbles, so I'm going to go ahead and torch this a little bit. This is my little mini butane torch. You can get on Amazon, you can get at Walmart, anywhere. It's like a couple bucks. Gas station. Okay. I think I got most of them. You can also invest in a much more expensive torch. That's totally allowed. Whatever floats your boat. Alright. Oh no. There goes the neighbor's dogs. <laughs> I very much apologize, but there is literally nothing I can do about that. <laughs> they kind of do that all day long. Someday, someday I'll have a soundproof studio. Weatherproof, soundproof, everything. It's also like extremely windy today. Really, really windy. So, I'm gonna have to close all the doors after this so I don't get all kinds of things blown into the painting. Okay. Woo! I like it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go a tiny bit more this way. Just run off a little bit more of that white, which I don't like as much. Okay. There we go. 
We are golden. All right, as usual, we shall let this sit here for a bit and see, uh, you know, what other cells and whatnot pop up. And then we'll go ahead and go in for the close-up. Okay, so it's been sitting here for a few minutes. I would normally let it sit a bit longer, um, but I am afraid of the wind blowing things into it. So we're going to go ahead and go in for the close-up. I really like this. Uh, the pink kind of totally disappeared, but it is a little bit here in the center. You can kind of see it's mixed in there. Um, and then we got kind of the geode effect again over here, which I really like. Some cool lacing. Yeah, super cool. I like that kind of a yellowy green with the other colors. I think it looks awesome. Okay, cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please do not forget to subscribe as in the next one to two videos we'll be doing a nice big fat giveaway. Um, and if you want to see all the materials listed, please go ahead and go to the description. And we will, uh, you know, I'll see you next time.